The U.S. Supreme Court has handed former President Donald Trump a major victory, overturning a judicial decision that excluded him from Colorado's ballot over his involvement in the January 6, 2021 attacks on the U.S. Capitol. Our Reggie Cicchini joins us now from outside the Supreme Court in Washington. So Reggie, let's start by breaking down the decision. How exactly did the court come to this? Hey there, Miranda. So uh, it was interesting how we came to this decision today. The announcement was made on Sunday just in a posting to the court website that they may be offering a decision today. This is not a typical day where the court sits. The justices are not on the bench today. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday are the typical decision day. So we assume that there would be something momentous coming from the court today. And this is important because tomorrow is Super Tuesday where Donald Trump was expected to be on the ballot in several states trying to remove him from the ballot. So what we ended up with was this uh, uh, multi-page uh, decision that came down from the justices on the bench. It was a 9 nothing unanimous decision uh, with some additional words at the end, though all nine justices arguing that Colorado or any other state does not have the right uh, to be able to take somebody off of the primary ballot, arguing that it would create a bit of a patchwork around the United States. And in fact, uh, one of the things that they had said was that they conclude the states may disqualify persons holding or attempting to hold state office, but that states have no power under the Constitution to enforce Section 3 with respect to federal office, especially the presidency. So effectively, what we have the court saying is that the states can do what they want when it comes to uh, state level offices, but when it comes to the presidency, uh, that that's something that Congress ultimately needs to be um, liable for here. So essentially kicking a political decision out of the court to Congress saying, look, if the insurrection act needs to be upheld and we're trying to ban anybody from being on a ballot. Congress has to be able to enforce legislation. We have to see if Congress is interested in taking up that kind of legislation. But ultimately, as you said, this is a big win for Donald Trump. All right, so Reggie, how likely is it that Congress will take the steps to invoke a, a post-Civil War constitutional provision to keep Trump or any other person looking to become president off the ballot? Well, look, it, it's it's difficult to, to say that that's something that they're going to take up either this term or any other term, particularly if you have a Republican uh, led Congress that may be doing what it can to shield Donald Trump from any kind of accountability or criminal responsibility, not just for what took place in the aftermath of the 2020 election through January 6th, but also any kind of future problems as well. And look, it's important to point out that while this was a nine nothing decision, the liberal justices on the bench, three of them said that the court is too broadly sweeping here, that they're making it almost impossible to have anybody held accountable in the future. And in fact, not only was it the three liberal justices, but there was one Trump appointed justice as well, Justice Amy Coney Barrett, who agreed with the liberals by saying that this goes too far. But, uh, you know, this is an attempt to try and, and, and bring the temperature down, the political temperature down. So, you know, whether or not Congress ultimately acts to decide here, that's something to look at in the future. In the immediate future, it means that on Tuesday in a state like Colorado, Donald Trump is going to be allowed on the ballot and in the future, no state will be allowed to take anybody off the ballot. All right, so that's my next question, and you answered it. You know, Colorado wasn't the only state looking to remove Trump from its ballot. There were several others. What does this decision mean, though, for the Republican frontrunners' campaign? Because there were a lot of sort of roadblocks being thrown up. We were discussing these and what this decision could mean if the court did not side with Trump. So what does it mean for his campaign now? Right. I mean, look, the campaign is running a victory lap. Donald Trump himself, within minutes of this decision coming down, took to his social media page and claimed this to be a big victory for uh, America. Uh, and he's essentially arguing what his legal team had argued during oral arguments before the justices here, in that this was simply an attempt to go after uh, Donald Trump by Democratic devices in and around the country. So he'll be on Colorado's ballot. He'll be on Maine's ballot. He'll be on Illinois' ballot, a decision that was made by a judge just last week. And it means that for the balance of this primary, campaign and into the general election, Donald Trump is going to remain on the ballot and, and the, the, the court here essentially giving uh, or putting the onus on the shoulders of the voters to say, look, this is going to be in your hands come later this year. The bigger question is going to be what happens when we get to the general election. If there is some kind of law that's been put in place by Congress when it comes to the Electoral College uh, 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 votes being counted, those are state uh, voters that are sent in for for, uh, for kind of determining uh, what the electoral college count is going to be. And if a state doesn't agree with it, you know, do we find ourselves with another potential um, Supreme Court battle? There's already been uh, disappointment that's been expressed from the, the uh, Secretary of State in, uh, in Colorado. So, you know, there, there's going to be an immediate fallout. We need to see if there's going to be a long term fallout beyond this. All right, Reggie, thanks for breaking down that breaking news. We appreciate it.
Thank you. That is our Reggie Cicchini reporting from outside the Supreme Court in Washington. And Donald Trump has spoken regarding the Supreme Court's decision. Here's what he had to say. You cannot take somebody out of a race because an opponent would like to have it that way. And it has nothing to do with the fact that it's the leading candidate, whether it was the leading candidate or a candidate that was well down on the totem pole. You cannot take somebody out of a race. The voters can take the person out of the race very quickly. But a court shouldn't be doing that, and the Supreme Court saw that very well. And I really do believe that will be a unifying factor.